Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of High Chief Huge Jacked Man, the Fearless of Jeremiah Topoli. There has been a couple of uh, there has been an episode for a couple of days now, just because I'm I'm struggling to find time for it. To be honest, I'm working on obviously the the, the two episodes a day. We've got a series going up on the second channel. Then we've also got the uh, secret project that a preview video has been put up on Patreon. That's free for anybody to watch, by the way. It's not just for patrons. So there, there's a lot going down right now, and I don't really want to force series out. I feel like it's a good way to kind of kill them off, particularly a series like this where time is very much of the essence. You know, we, we only get three characters per realm, so I've got to be very careful about how we do it. And I don't just want to force an episode out every day, otherwise this will be over in like two minutes. So... We're back with Huge Jetman, the fearless of of Jeremiah Topley, a very powerful martial leader, a guy who we kind of went a bit but wild with the last time, just trying to get as many claims done as possible, doing as many wars as we possibly can. I wanted to refamiliarize myself with very briefly what truces we have. Oh, with absolutely everybody. Um, yeah, there is no way. So when do these fade away for the most part? Oh, wow. Just kind of over the next three or four years. Christ, okay, well, we'll see when things come together, but that's all we can do for the time being, unless we can, like, fabricate some claims. There's a chance that 3.7% chance yearly. Oh, God, I mean, he's not the best diplomat, is he? What about now? 7% chance yearly of fabricating claims, and even, like, all the claims we've got, the only one that could be possible to actually push in a war, because everyone else we're a truth, truce with, would be this province here. Fucking hell, I can't speak today. So... I guess we'll go for it. I guess we'll go for this province here and sort of see how that goes. For the time being, then, we are just going to have to kind of sit around, do a lot of raiding, maybe build up for some infrastructure because we just cannot go to war now. We're completely limited. Now, one thing I remembered as I was loading into the episode today is we're right on the border of the eastern side of the map, and I haven't once looked at China, or it's called in this one the Nagim Empire. Um, Nevarian, and they've got the Creed of the, the Pesh. Uh, Intrigue plus two. Okay, that's kind of cool. What can they do? Four concubines, they're aggressive, so they lose prestige if they're at peace for too long, like I think what we have to deal with. Um, oh, it's got air designation. That's very powerful. Cannot be reformed, though. Um, okay, that's kind of cool. That's an interesting religion. Then he's also... Uh, let's see what let's see what we can actually get from them here. This seems like the regular China stuff. Okay, it is referred to there as like Chinese position, Chinese artifact. Nagim China, for example. Um, right, cool. Interesting. So really, we should be trying to do as much of this stuff as possible. Why don't we, first things first, go on a holiday to China, then, seeing as we're at truce with everybody. Honestly, why not? We could also send off our daughter, Serena Williams, over to... Well, she's... Honestly, she's just about to get an illness, so... Oh, she, she already counts as ill, right? Even though she hasn't developed a disease. Diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever... Oh, God. It's just food poisoning. She's all right. We'll try and ship her off, because he also likes going combines. We could always... Oh, it has to be a member of your dynasty as well, doesn't it? It's going to say we'll find someone on the character fi uh, finder to ship off as well. A wife is pregnant again. And Ronald Jeremiah, more importantly, gained the trait novice fighter. So this kid is going to be our successor. Unfortunately, you got indolent and haughty, haughty, which are the two worst childhood traits, in my opinion, you could possibly get. Five in each stat besides learning where he's slightly worse. And he's also nine years old as well. I'm having a lot of trouble speaking today. Give me a minute. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, you already got a claim. That's absolutely fucking nuts. What's his uh, consolation of philosophy? Uh, we have to be... You have to be a prisoner to read that? The last and most influential work by Boethios was written in 523 as he awaited execution by the king of the Ostrogoths. Whoa, that's so weird. So you can get plus 4 health, 1.5... Uh, sorry, 1.5 health, plus 4 intrigue, and 0 0.5 monthly party, but you have to be a prisoner. And obviously not blind as well, so you can read it. Wow, that's so strange. Um, my man managed to get a claim with 5.56% chance yearly. Fine. 93 gold. It's only for a chiefdom as well, so it's really not going to make that much of a difference. But we can fabricate claims maybe on this one now, because we are that little bit closer there. Cool. And how much do these guys have? Do we not have, like, a great invasion we could use against these? Are we already at truce with them still? Did we grab this from them yesterday then? Oh, that sucks. What do we need for the Great Invasion again? Um, a thousand piety. I think we've got a very obvious goal then in that case. We're already on theology, folks. Makes some sense. Um, should we just go around and grab a load of people? Sacrifice them up? Try and farm up a thousand piety? I think within the time that our truces have faded away, we could have enough piety to, to go for a Great Holy War against, say, like this guy down here. That could work. Or there's this one up here. Sal Sal Salanola? Salanoia? Um, hmm, I'm just trying to think of the best target. Like, Nova, Nova, Nova Buguria over here as well is pretty good. That's a lot of very valid places for a great conquest. 
Well, let's focus in. Let's just keep raiding. Always keep troops to go raiding. Apparently, we have no armies left, but we'll um, wait for our troops to reinforce. We'll always... We've already got arbitrary. We'll just stick to raiding as much as possible. Go for that thousand. Oh, that's a fucking great start. And a rank up as well in our society. Back to Wolf. Obviously, we were Wolf before. If this guy were to die, though... Ah, oh, he's way out of Diplo range. I was going to say, if he were to die, we'd be able to just bypass it straight away. Then there is, of course, the opportunity to potentially forge a bloodline here. Grand Champion, if we can repel 10 Pretenders to our our mighty rank of champion, or bear in this case, we can forge a bloodline, which basically allows you to bypass some of the requirements, gives you some personal combat. It's not massively overpowered, but it's a pretty nice little thing to obviously have upon the man's piece along with everything else we've got here. Okay, cool. Let's keep getting into shape. Always stick with that as soon as possible. Besides that, though, let's let our army reinforce then. So while we went for our army to reinforce, all of the more reasons to actually head off to China. Let's go kowtow before the emperor. What we'll do is we'll specifically go to China with the... Uh, intention to build our carrots up as much as possible rather than impressing the emperor i think it'd be good to call that before we head there so anything that would give us traits anything that would save us some money we'll, we'll we'll embrace those and just see what we can get see if we can get some artifacts something like that and obviously if we impress the emperor along the way that's fine another son Ooh, he's better comely tall booming voice um actually is that better than a kid who's just straight up strong you gotta remember strong is nerfed in this one so strong is no longer the the powerhouse it is in the base game Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank you, Broadpat, for giving Orgaldus a second chance as he presents back dead Orgaldus. That's a bit tragic, really. Oh, well, never mind. What is that under there? Arrange betrothal. Dead people cannot marry. Not with that attitude. All right, so here we go. 150 gold in exchange for... So this is the minimum you have to pay for it. What is that? Nagim artwork? Uh, sure. We don't really have much in our treasury right now, do we? Oh, we, we don't at all. We have two fucking heads. Um... Sure, let's have something at least semi-decent. Prestige, piety, that's okay. Just a little bit of ticking extra there. It's not fantastic, but obviously those little tiny things there will add up. Oh, nice. 33% chance of losing arbitrary. 33% chance of losing cruel. 33% chance of gaining formidable fighter. All of those are good. What do we... Oh, we lost arbitrary. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Have you guys noticed as well, there's like a very small delay with actions actually happening in HIP. So things like murder plots, things like traits disappearing. I don't know if that's an intended design mechanic or whether it's something else we've got going on here. But, or whether it's just completely psychosomatic and I'm losing my goddamn mind. But it does feel like there is something going on there. Some, some, some weird sort of delay between us interacting with things and the game actually picking up on it. Again, maybe it's a way to stop you scumming up certain mechanics. I really have no idea. Well, we just got the regular old basic cow, so nothing else ready to show for it, unfortunately, besides the artwork there. We lose 250 prestige. That's not really a big deal, is it? Right, okay. Get into shape. Let's do some more military training as well. Now that we're back, try and get that done as soon as possible. Go for the highest level. Oh, someone died. He inherited some stuff. Okay, well, we'll dish that out. Um, a new random leader of my choosing. Oh, we've got this guy. What is that religion? Whoa. Plus one to everything? Wow, that's powerful. And led by a Koenga doll there, so that must be Jerusalem, or, or, or sorry, Judaism, but reskinned. He's also got the trait Jew, which is uh, not not right. Just literally not right. And he's also Norman culture. Ah, yes, those Manian Normans. Okay, let's give it to a random... Well, the military governor is always fine. Um, put in a local man. Is that our... Oh, which Rapuri? Um, the, religion, the, the culture doesn't matter too much. That's okay. I don't really want to spend the gold if we can avoid it. What was it we needed to go for feudalism again? We need absolute tribal organization. That was it. Okay. So we're actually really not far off. The council... Okay, so we've got four people in favor of it. And obviously us as well. Boom. So in theory, in the next... Uh, okay, we need 12... Whoa, 1,250 prestige. Damn. And then four more years, we might be able to flip over to absolute tribal. That'd be quite nice. Oh, getting arbitrary rather than ambitious. You got willful, which I guess is something. God, this kid is bad. Holy fuck. Um... What do you have? Indolent, haughty, haughty became arbitrary. Well, we're arbitrary as well. It hasn't really bitten us in the ass quite yet. I don't know. This kid might come out okay. Seriously, no, it's going to be nowhere near as good as our character right now. This guy is an absolute fucking madman. Okay. Um, <laughs> God damn it. All right. Uh, build spy network. Let's go for a little bit of technology, perhaps, because we are going to uh, hopefully flip over to feudal relatively soon. Um, it's a lot of, a lot of nomads around this area, aren't there? Um, let's go ahead and dump it. Oh, look at this. We've got an empire. This is empire. Oh, it's a protector general. Oh, they're actually landed on the map, are they? Okay, that's fine. That's probably one of the better ones to go for as well. There we go. Either we lose Cruel or we gain Formidable Fighter. We lost Cruel. Okay, fine. Not, not too bad, I guess. I would prefer Skill Fighter. And what was our... That's it. We got up to... Oh, we got Legendary Commander. Four out of four. Look at that. Martial plus three. General Opinion plus five. Personal Combat Skill plus 20. Attraction Opinion. So we've got to level up, uh, obviously, Hemophiliac up to Hemoarch. 
So we got 30 out of 50 on that one. Okay, cool. So we need to sacrifice 20 more people to level up to become a Hema fan. Then after that, we've obviously got to sacrifice a few more to go up to an even higher level. Um, very nice. And then Skilled Fighter. I don't think we can get much... I don't, don't know how you level up your Diplomat rank. But when we've maxed out Skilled Fighter and Hemophiliac as well, that's basically the best we could possibly make this character. Um, construction level 3, I think is a good idea. I think it's the best shout. Now, speaking of construction, should we just go and stick down some more stuff in our capital here? Training grounds, levy size, garrison size seem pretty good. If we can get levy reinforcement, that'd be fantastic. Um... Oh, God, there's a lot to build. Fucking hell. Grain mill gives... Oh, that's lovely size. Which one gives reinforcement rate? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, oh, there it is. Weaponsmith. Levy reinforcement rate 10%. That's what we need right now, because our levies seem to be taking bloody ages to reinforce. We're getting there a little bit sooner, but it's really not going too well. Can try and rank up. Uh, how good are we again? 100 and... 138 is not bad at all, is it? Ask for a jewel. 138 versus 82? You've got this. Counter. Quick and simple. Ah, uh, Flare Wildly. That never fails. Flare Wildly. We've done it. Boom. Look at that. Head of the society. We are now the bear of the berserkers. That's cool. So that gives the plus five month prestige. Very useful if we're trying to save up the 1,250 to flip over to feudal. We've got Marsh plus three. Six field plus 25 personal combat skill plus 30. Then we can also set up championships in our capital. So that's kind of a cool thing that you can right click on a province and buff up more troop type. So we could say Brawling Arena, we lose a little bit of tax, we gain 10% bonus to light infantry, 10% extra light infantry, I should say. So if we wanted to, if we had a particular leadership trait, like for example, Stampede Leader, we could try and buff up as many, as many horsemen as possible. Actually might not be a bad idea in hindsight. Let's go ahead and organize some raiders then. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can do something useful with that. Oh, actually, duchies are quite a quick way, aren't they, to get a shitload of prestige. 125, and we got four of them available. I mean, that would give us another 500 instantly, assuming we could get the gold to be able to fund it. How much gold do we need? 140 so we got. Well, yeah, we can get 500 prestige immediately here. So when we get to 750 prestige, we'll just churn out all the duchies and be done with it. Um, getting that, though, is going to be the difficult thing. So let's set our levies to reinforce all of them. We could just go raiding now, I guess, and try and get some prestige from that. Couldn't hurt. And obviously, Warfare, the second drop of truce is with everybody. Then we'll really kick it into our drive here. Let's also re-enable those decisions. It's annoying that between mod packs, I disable those in the other series. It disabled it in this one. So it's a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, because now we know someone's trying to assassinate our freaking son. What's wrong with you people? Right, you want us to lead our men into battle. Well, that's appropriate because we're just about to go and do that. I wonder how much gold we'll get just from burning somewhere like this down. Ah, heretics. That's pretty convenient, seeing as we wanted to, again, fight some troops. That's quite a good amount of gold, to be fair. Okay. Um, 601. It was only another 150, and then in theory, we can flip to feudal, obviously, if, as long as the years have also gone past. Ooh, that was a bit risky. It's only a peasant revolt. We should be fine. There we are. Boom. 50 more prestige. And another 25 prestige on top of that. Very good. 705. Pretty good. And then end this war, and we gain another 100 prestige. Boom. Okay. Right. Cool. Make the duchies, then. Obviously a risky play, because now a lot of our dukes are going to be very mad at me for not dishing them out. Okay, fantastic. And then all we need is 1,250 prestige. Uh, and don't forget, we've got to get the council on our side too. And uh, the, the issue with this method, is, of course, is the council are not going to be too happy about me hoarding this many duchy level titles. So I'm going to make sure everybody is well gilded. Uh, not gilded, gilded. They wouldn't particularly like the other one. Um, it's also Sakar Court Chaplain. Oh, you're fucking awful. Can I imprison you? There's a leader of the plot. Get him out of here. That's a hell of a way to sack him. Huh? 100? That's much better. Let's get you building zeal. Um, Broad Pat, Pat, what are you doing? Why does he dislike us? Oh, he's also a hemophiliac. Why do you, why do you hate us so fucking much? Rival? Outrage? What if we execute him? We could banish him? Council won't like that. We could retrieve artifact. Oh! We take back our fucking dragon amulet, because apparently he's taken it? Interesting. Yeah, give me that shit back, brother. That that's, that's, should actually be ours, so honestly, why the hell not? This guy was to die horribly. That would save us a lot of, uh... That would save us a lot of headaches here. So let's just keep raiding along our borders. If we can't go to war with them, we might as well grab some grab some gold on them, huh? Dedicate time to reading the scriptures. We're getting ever closer to that thousand piety as well. This is going to be pretty good. I think I think today's the day where we're really going to blob out of control. Dear, I hope it's not prone to accidents. We've got Elia of Elia's host. Let's see what he can do. How is he going to prepare an invasion? He's going to land over here and then march over to us. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. that's okay. Fair enough. Whatever. Sacred text illuminate me. Plus two learning and 20 piety as well. It's obviously very, very nice. Uh, okay, so... Oh, he got ambitious too. Oh, that's good. He's got ambitious. He's not come out massively well, I will admit. Um, 
77. Oh, God. Okay, so HIP changes, so it's no longer a flat chance to gain diligent or patient. There is a chance of failure. I think patient was the better one just because of the martial bonuses. I mean, maybe I will go diligent. Oh, we got it. Okay. That's a start. That's okay. Oh, my God. We failed to murder Brad Pot, but our complicity was discovered. But I'm assuming we can just launch it again, right? No big deal, unless HIP puts some sort of cooldown on it. Yeah, we can just immediately fire again. Everyone else is up for it. Good stuff. Wolf Tasso has issued an official duel request approved by the tournament organizers. Bring me my sword. What's he got? 118. Fucking hell. Um, what have we got again? 100 oh, 164. <laughs> Be gone, fuck. Give me that 50 prestige. We didn't actually have to make so many duchies in hindsight. I, sh I should have waited right up until, you know, there was a potential to do it. That's okay. We can, we can always come out when we form a kingdom. In fact, can we not form a kingdom now? We need just 800 gold. Oh, shit. We could just save up 800 gold and make a titular kingdom. Oh. Chief Peter Donglidge of Tipuri is throwing his support. Oh, come on. Surely we can imprison him for that. Wait, he's back in an adventurer threat and we can't imprison him for that. That doesn't make any fucking sense. What are you talking about? The man just funded our rivals. That's treason. That's like high treason. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to also fight you guys as well. Ha we lost that one. I'll walk away victorious. How we lose? What? <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. I'll be honest with you. Who the fuck is leading these troops? Oh, he's got 43. Oh my god, it's a lucky ruler. Holy shit, there's no wonder we lost. He's a lucky ruler. Oh, right next door to us? Holy shit, we might have found ourselves a mortal enemy here. There's no way in hell we can beat that guy. Um, we need to be careful. We don't get stomped on by him then. Thousand Pisces. We could we could just reverse it on him. Look, a, a, a great military commander does not a round make. Although he does get 200% taxes, 10% extra morale. Fucking look at that. If we can get a big enough army, significantly, like significantly bigger, we might be able to stomp this guy into the ground without having to worry about it too much. But it's going to be a goddamn close one. Okay, especially if we go feudal as well. That would, that would really happen quite a lot. Okay, we've got around a year and then we can try and go for feudalism. Question is, do we want to save the gold to bribe the council to go feudal, or do we want to, uh, what have you got? Get out. Do we want to instead save up to form a kingdom level title so that we can give out some of these duchies? And by giving out duchies, that way we would be able to bribe the council anyway. I think this, the latter option is definitely the better one there, right? I think that's probably what we'll be going for here. Um, we're still trying to assassinate my brother, yeah? We try and kill Brad Potter, we try and kill this bloody adventurer. What's he got? 192%. I say let him come. I think we could probably beat him in a in a in a combat. Let's, let's, they, they, he might not turn up with any good troops. There's gonna be time. Um, no, we don't need you. Fuck off. You've annoyed me now. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off this guy first. I'm kinda surprised, double admit. Our oh, egg son, look at him. Oh, he also got sturdy? Interesting. Health plus 0 0.25 and personal comments go plus two? Plus two? Fucking two? You might not have even bothered. Is HIP upgraded for the new system? Two personal combat for being sturdy. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, that please. He's not fantastic, but eventually we might be able to turn him into something good. I'm so disappointed by that. Fucking two personal combat. Thanks for the skull trophy, you weirdo. Right, so with that final siege there, we're up to 847 gold. That's enough to form a kingdom, isn't it? Boom. Look upon your king. Konga Konagis, huge jacked man, the fearless of Jeremiah Topoli. So now we want to give away some of these duchies as well, preferably to council members to make them love us quite a lot. So what's your local uh, Dinistria? We do have Dinistria. Dinistria, my friend, it is yours. Take it, enjoy it, serve us well. Council members, steward. Steward, what, what is your land, friend? Uh, steward, steward, what is your land? Here we are. Um... Nanded is Quatuli, which we don't have. Um, what else have you got here? He's also got that one, which is under Tinistry. Okay, that's going to get somewhat somewhat difficult for borders. Court Chaplain has Ramagiri, which is under Jeremiah Topoli, which is our capital. When we're giving him that one. Um, <laughs> fuck. Is there anyone we can maybe replace our Chancellor with the landed character? Uh, Chief of Ariska. Lesser. Okay, we don't have that one either. What the fuck do we have then? That's the important question. Um, so this one. So we can land all of these guys. Um, which one's got the highest stats? It's got 15 Marshall. Uh, who do we want to sack? Either a Chancellor or a Spy Master here. So we'll try and find a good Chancellor or a good Spy Master. Uh, we've got a good Steward. 
Which might not hurt. That guy's already going to be loyal, though, isn't he? Well, I guess we'll wait and see. Why don't, why don't we just give it a little bit more time and see what we've got here? Oh, God. Came like an offensive salmon pink there. Brilliant. 10% chance of diligent. I don't think we got anything, but we did get 100 prestige, which is again all that matters. Come on. Everyone's in support of it. Boom. Just get it done. Make an excellent Chief Craddock. No, we would not. Fuck off. Get out of here. Uh, high Chiefdom of... So this guy wants the High Chiefdom of, I assume, this one here. We could. To be honest, we probably should. And he's a good ruler as well. But he's a different religion. Ah. Screw does not become you. Okay, in that case, we'll give it to someone who is of our religion, if that's even a possibility right now. Um, it's got to be down to this guy. He is. There we are. Okay, so you can have this one, my friend. Boom. Okay. Just to try and just try and tidy up some of our religious borders here. We could deal with... Oh, imagine what a, what a slap in the face that would be to land this guy instead. And you know what? I'm absolutely going to do it because fuck him. Get out of here. You're someone else's problem now, you little shit. Okay, we need an advisor. Um, so we'll put you on the council then. Keep everybody nice and happy. Are we going to pass this? Tribal organizations maximum. Then, feudalism. What? Primary title is the law. Absolute tribal organization. Uh, wait. Did I put it up for consideration? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. There we are. Bring me my sword. What have we got? 120. Safe one. Another safe jewel there. Of course, excellent. Nice try, Elliot. He's failed and given up on his quest. That's good news. And then finally, boom. The feudal realm. Oh, we've got Icta government? Oh, wait, Icta. Okay. Right, now I don't know how the Icta government type works. What do we got? Castle, temple, fort, and hospital. Right, so temple is the only difference, really. Um, vote type from tribal government without... Of another religion without objections. Can revoke duchy titles without objections. Tribal government are not included in vast limit calculation. Can't grant kingdoms to characters with a different group. Okay. Um, the Alavesa Icta system is similar to the feudal system. There's only one form of succession available. The chaotic open site where some of the most land inherits. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. We, we've lost out on air designation then. Fuck. All right. Um, what should we go for then, team? Should we go for that one? So, he's still going to inherit. I don't know why, but I guess so. I won't argue with it. Okay, so now we want to start upgrading places to castles. Was well, 100 gold. Boom. Swap it over. Um, so, our personal domain then. Oh, what about this one as well? Can we make that into a castle? We need the Stone Hill Fort there. Do we even want to hold on to this one? Because it's part of this province here. Poster Donklage. I'm going to give that to Poster Donklage. Trust me on this one. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's just focus on our capital. I'd love to revoke this one as well. I'd love to take this from this guy. Um, let's fabricate treason on him. I know I wanted to kill off Broad Pat, but we've essentially dealt with him by shuffling him under another vassal. We get coronated as well? I would have ruled the Khanate of Jeremiah Topolith, but really, uh, receiving an official Kalninajite coronation will legitimize my standing to my vassals. I look forward to it. Let's just bear in mind we got this guy on a border still, which I'm a little bit concerned about, but don't worry about it too much. Never been more proud. Crowned. And there's a chance of getting proud as well. Tradition faction has improved. Nice. We do get proud. That's pretty good. And a feast. Wow, that's really good. So that's going to give us the vassal opinion of diplomacy that we're after. And we still have the opportunity to raid. That wasn't just from... Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, that wasn't just from being tribal, luckily. 67. Again, be gone, thought. We, we actually might. I, was, I wasn't expecting to be able to do it. We genuinely might be able to form that bloodline as well, which would be very nice for our next character. Just to kind of help round him off a little bit because he's a bit shit. There go our raiders. Not that it's much of a loss. But we've got the piety that we need to potentially also... We've got tempera. Okay, cool. To potentially go for our invasion. 5,400 troops against... What's this guy got? This lucky ruler. 3,100. And bear in mind, he's got potential vassal ally troops. We can't call in our vassals to war anymore. However, we've got the bonus of having a castle. So this is where we really want to start upgrading our shit. Look at all these fucking buildings. Holy shit. Um, Kasbar Town. Oh, that's quite powerful. Warrior Gathering Ground. Whoa. Has the culture group Con... Kanan or West Icelandic? What a cultural group mix. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess we could go for that. That's a lot of extra troops. We'll lose pikemen, lose cavalry, but we're basically just getting a load of infantry rather than anything else. Um, and we get a little bonus to retinue size. I don't know what to go for. Let's start building castle towns or Casbar towns if we've got this one. And then when we've got enough money to play around with, that's when we'll focus more on our upgrades. What are these guys? Who, who are these guys? We haven't got army. They're just like event spawn troops. Oh, they're event spawn troops. Okay. 5,500. 
3,115 with an additional... Oh, that's all of it. Okay. I think we could take him. I think we could take him. Or we could force vassalize him. Is he our religion? Oh, no, we can't force vassalize him. Um, what do you think? Go for a full-blown invasion of everything? Bear in mind, we'll just get it besides the stuff that are not included in his borders there. So we still have to siege this one separately. That's his capital, so we're going to do that anyway. Bring it. Bring it. But if this guy starts looting troops, we have to make sure that we are very diligent in our armies being one massive unit as we try and fight this dude. Because him as a lucky ruler, if he leads any army, we are going to get smashed by him. No questions. Oh, we can also raise an army, can't we? From our... Uh, it was a thousand glory. Do it. Let's do it just to get another 7,700 troops. This is a lucky ruler. This isn't just any dude. Four out of ten on our list. Let's fight this guy manually then because we're doing a really good job here. I don't want to risk it just by the game fucking up here. Flare wildly. Counter. Boom. Another one down. We are halfway now to our additional bloodline. Look at that. God, he's got a lot of troops. Okay, we're going to need more than that then. Um, buy some holy orders. They're quite cheap. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was that? Oh, I clicked the higher on that one. I clicked the higher on that one. It dismissed them immediately because they're the same bloody people. Oh, fuck off with that. Really? Shit. All right. Never mind. Whatever. Um, well, that was basically the only troops we had left to hire. You fucker. Okay. Um, well, let's do that as well. Can we hire a warrior commander? Let's get a couple of those going. Let's get like three just so we can pick the best two to make permanent commanders here. Right. Okay. Sack this guy. Welcome. Sack you. Welcome. Sack you. Good. Okay. So, let's us. Let's get this guy. He's got 23. Either that, we go for an impenetrable defender shield bearer. This guy has no leadership traits. So, we're going to go for Suds. My good man, Suds. And then we'll also go for the rousing leader here for the extra morale, damage, and defense. Will a 20, will a 20, 22, 29 with all different leadership traits be able to fight this? With him leading the troops as well, I assume? It's got ruler. Yeah. 45, Marshall. Fucking hell. Oh, God. I don't think we're going to win this then in hindsight. He's, he's just got a load of events born troops. Yeah. 3,500 events born troops. This is going to be fucking tough. Uh, can we take out loans? There's an, op uh, there's an option to do that, isn't there? Um, blah, 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 blah. Borrow money? Can't. Okay. Borrow through from money landers. Okay, give me some money lander cash. Okay, there we are. Let's get some mercenaries. Um, 69 gold per month. Friggin' hell. Uh, that's awesome. It's that number. <laughs> Let's go for you. 15,000. Led by huge jacked man. Is this going to be enough to wipe out the lucky ruler? No, because he's just... He's got 11,000 troops, brother. The fuck? I'm, I'm going to go all in on the mercenaries and just hope that we can... Like, this is all we got. 22,000. Wait for him to move a lot. Get over there. Can we not beat him there? Oh, that's a shame. Well, we're locked in now, so we just have to go for it. We are relying on just absolute numbers here to wipe this guy out. Fucking good job. Okay. I, I kind of overestimated him a little bit there. I, I, I've got to be careful, though, because we saw what he did earlier with, with, an, with an equivalent army size. And we've got Shattered Retreat. So this guy's going to now disappear off into the foot knows where. Um, Sim Disgraced. Oh, 69% chance to revoke that title. Ah, oh, there we are. Good shit. Okay, we'll deal with that one in a minute, then. Curse his name. Oh, they actually turned against us. Fuck you. Immediately smashed them too. That was probably not the best fight they could have chosen there. Oh, we're gonna have to borrow some more money. This is gonna fuck us for years, but you know, we're getting a lot of land out of it, so I can't really complain too much. Um Right, so these guys were the mercenary band. They're gonna give us some prestige and stuff too. That would be an interesting idea. We could get into a shitload of debt, hire a mercenary company, or more specifically, wait until we've got like zero gold, hire a mercenary company, have our main re our armies stood, so whether that's ten thousand, fifteen thousand men. Wait for the mercenaries to rebel, defeat them, gain a shitload of prestige from it, rinse and repeat. Obviously, it's not guaranteed that every single time they go into rebellion, only when they feel like they've got a they've got a shot of doing that. That could be interesting. Oh, we stole his warehouse, decorated with books, is my warehouse now. Um, so what are we taking? What what's the war goal here? So anything within those borders, we are going to take. And then we've also taken this one because it's an invasion. I think we're going to completely unland this dude. Goodbye, my friend. We still got land. Fuck. Oh, it's not a traditional CK2 invasion. So obviously a traditional CK2 invasion, you take is whatever land you don't take. Uh, sorry, whatever land that's not part of the main title that you take, you get to keep. But for whatever reason, he got to keep this province. He's not a threat to us anymore. Even as a lucky ruler, he's going to do nothing. And look, my friends, upon Jeremiah Toffoli. Wow. That's some good shit right there. 
We got feudal today. We've doubled our border size. This is what I'm talking about, where we need to be very careful about how we choose to distribute our time to this one. Um, so we are trying to give the province of Nandurba. Give it to a random leader. Give it to a capable steward. And then go ahead. Gold will be transferred to the new governor. Um... Tripuri some no 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 we want we, we have to give it to ours. Yep, give that one to a capable steward. Now I'm gonna give them the gold because in theory it will eventually just pay for itself. So capable steward, send it to that guy. New leader of my choosing, capable steward. Can I now go into debt? This will put you in debt, yeah, we're fine with that. Um this one. And then I know it's probably a better way. I, I just want to use this system because I think it's kind of a cool system. There we are. So all that stuff's now dished out to new characters. Are they any good? Uh that guy is. That guy's okay. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. That's looking all right. That could have been a lot worse. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that all around then. Very cool. Look at that though. What a what a mighty domain. What a mighty domain by a mighty man. What about our other? Oh right, we're, we're obviously a shitload in debt. But after that's faded away, all of our other truces they probably expired by now as well. Whether or not we're going to be able to perform the religion remains to be seen because the religious holy sites are all over the fucking place. So, obviously, we've got this one, which is in our round, which we need to deal with in a second. We'll try and... I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Um, ideally, we want to kill the rulers of that province over and over until there's none of them left. I have no idea how you check succession in this either, to be honest with you. Um, let's go to the county title. Oh, there's a lot of them. Fucking hell. Although, if that guy gets put in charge. And then... Oh, wait. It doesn't even have a temple holding. Oh, it starts into your control, but it doesn't have a temple holding. Right, so we'd have to build a temple there. 404. Shit in hell. Um, okay. Oh, but well, hang on. To make the religion, we just need to hold three holy sites, right? Right, there we are. Controls three holy sites. So we don't actually have to have them as active holy sites or a, a, a moral authority. Uh, sorry. Yeah, moral authority or anything like that. Interesting. We also need a thousand piety as well. So we've got one. Um, so what's this one? Calm is bloody miles away. So that one's off the off the agenda. See, that's that seems like the next sensible one to go for. So I think that one is the one we'll actually absolutely be going for next. Well, that episode flew by, but I think we achieved a massive amount. More importantly, we didn't use too much of our very limited in-game time to get that done. So I'm fairly happy with how that went, to be honest with you. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Again, these episodes will be coming out as and when I basically got free time to do it. So they're just kind of a little extra bonus thing that uh, will take a while to build up. But I think they're going to be quite fun when we actually get this whole world built of our dynasties. Thank you to Michael Mullen, Rodin, Balak Strombo, Zetlock, Sirik313, Shay, Orkswell, Fukunda Vasquez, Harry McGowan, DKO, Archeronks98, Ninja Tree5, or V, Grimwolf, Nordstrus, Chesty, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon for going above and beyond anything I could have expected in terms of channel support. Thank you to you guys for making it all possible. And a thank you as well to Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Smooth Octopus, Corgi Circus, Void Prince Kibo, Trevor Sanders, Cam, Astro, Buen Gun, Valkyrie, Super Nanny089, Volta, Fat Joe is a Toe, Tiger Rifter, Kamara Schmel, and everyone else at Patreon too. Thank you guys for your support. See you all tomorrow for some additional adventures, I hope.